Okay, guys, today we'll be discussing um, food safety and sanitation. How many of you guys have prepared meals before? Yes. Yeah. 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 You guys have? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So can anybody tell me um, an experience you've had preparing a meal? Am I? Um, when I took care of my little nephew. You took care of your nephews, you would? I would cook for them. Oh, okay, that's good. Um, can anybody let me know an important measure to implement when preparing a meal? Wash your hands. Washing your hands, very good. Anybody else? Put gloves on. Put gloves on, that's important as well. Okay, um, important terms. So I'm gonna ask you guys to help me out by reading the terms. So, um, Christopher. Sanitation, practicing cleanliness to prevent the spread of illness and disease. So that's what we want to implement, is a lot of sanitation while we're cooking. Pathogens, um, let's go with Christina. Pathogen disease causing organisms also known as germs. As germs. So what's another name for germs? Germs. Bacteria. Bacteria, Bacteria but there's one other name. Pathogens. 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 Very good. Okay, so communicable diseases. Can I please have Shauna tell me? <laughs> diseases passed from person to person includes colds, flu, chickenpox, and strep throat. They spread easily, especially in, amongst children in group settings. Pathogens are found in body fluids from nose, mouth, lungs, and eyes. Very good. So that's basically like if you have a cold and you wipe your um, nose with your hand, it is very important that you wash your hands because if not, then you can you know, transmit the, the diseases to somebody else. Okay, uh, non-communicable diseases. Let's go with Max. Infectious diseases do not pass from person to person. They are tra transmitted by food of food, animals, and insects. Examples are ear infections and diaper rash. Thank you. And one last one, which is perishable foods. Um, Victoria? Food that spoils in our refrigerators are frozen. So that's anything like chicken, cheese, milk, stuff that you can leave outside and then it spoils after a few hours if you don't put it back in. Okay, why should we take um, sanitation measures? Anybody? To not get sick. To not get sick? Get others sick. To not get others sick? Very good. Um, so basically, um, food that is spoiled or tainted with bacteria can cause serious illnesses in children and adults. So perishable foods, like I said, mentioned, like chicken, cheese, that needs to be maintained at a certain temperature so that the bacteria is not killed off. I mean, it's not, it is killed off. Harmful bacteria and other diseases can easily spread from unclean hands or equipment onto food. So you want to make sure that everything is clean while you're cooking. Okay, the importance of washing your hands. Can I please have um, Carlos? To limit the spread of agents, food handlers must wash their hands with hot, soapy water for at least 30 seconds before beginning food preparation. Hands should be washed dirty under fingernails and between fingers. So how many of you guys have heard um, when you <coughs> wash your hands, what are you supposed to sing? Sometimes you, have, you sing a song to kind of cue you into 30 seconds. Happy birthday song. How many of you guys have said, okay, in order for you to wash your hands correctly, you need to sing the happy birthday song. And once you're done singing that, then you're okay to stop washing your hands. Because some of you guys, when you wash your hands, do this. So we have to make sure that we wash in between and underneath our nails. Okay? Okay. All right, next um, important point, Karina. Hands should be washed after sneezing, coughing, or using restrooms in order to reduce the risk of having communicable diseases and pathogens. Okay, very good. So sneezing, coughing, make sure that when you cough, you're away from the food. You don't want to spread your germs onto the food. And the last point, Felipe? It is important to wash your hands thoroughly after handling raw meat, poultry, fish, or eggs to avoid frost and contamination of bacteria. The equipment that touch the raw food, such as cutting boards and knives, must also be scrubbed in hot soapy water. Why do you guys think that we need to scrub it with hot soapy water? The bacteria. The bacteria. The bacteria go away. So what happens if like I'm cooking a chicken and then I go make a salad without washing my hands? Your mind is spread. And what's something common that you get when you when people don't use the proper measures? 
germs. Germs, and you can get like stomach flu. Um, you can get, get salmonella. Very good. Okay. Um, other sanitation measures. Uh, let's go with um, Mr. Over here. Um, food must be served on clean dishes. Do not use the same dishes used for raw foods without being properly washed. Thank you very much. So they need to be, um, you know, they need to be clean. Make sure that if you use a knife to cut um, any raw meat, it's cleaned appropriately so you don't pass on those germs. And um, let's go with Chris. Can you please read the next point? All dishes and utensils must be sanitized with hot water and dish soap after each use to go back to very good, thank you. And the last one, um, let's go with okay. Eating areas and food preparation areas must be cleaned with some sanitizing solution before and after each use. Very good. So basically, you guys need to make sure that you're washing all your utensils, um, making sure that if you're touching raw meat and you're touching other food, you wash your hands in between. If you're going to serve something, try to wear gloves as much as possible and eat the hands to be washed. Um, how many seconds at least? 30, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, very good. So your activity, this is what you will be doing today. Um, you will be given a vignette of a meal to prepare. The steps to the meal will be written and it is your job to use information learned today to place the steps in the correct order and to eliminate anything that doesn't um, look like it's sanitary. So basically I'm going to give you, um, like Felipe, I'm going to give you example of cooking a chicken. You're going to give me the proper steps that you're going to use to prepare that chicken in a uh, sanit in a way that it's sanitary. Okay? So we're going to get in groups of two and everybody's going to go ahead and, and work one out. You guys are going to have different scenarios. And at the end after our activity, we're going to go ahead and do a checkout, which you will be asked five questions um, on what we learned today. Okay? Any okay. questions? No. No. We're good? Yes. Okay.